We propose an adaptive robotics framework for chemistry lab automation. The proposed framework facilitates material discovery by using robots to help chemists through automating laborious experiments that are often dangerous. We verify the utility of our framework with several chemistry experiments, including solubility and recrystallization. The framework is composed of three main components, perception, task and motion planning, and skills. For input, the framework receives chemistry experiment instructions through a standard description language from a chemist and also perceives the workspace. Afterwards, it generates a task in motion plan with considerations for handling vessels with chemical reagents, allowing the robot to perform chemistry experiments autonomously. The proposed framework can also adapt to new workspace configurations in a semi-structured environment and can scale by embedding new perception and skill algorithms as well as integrating new hardware with the ROS interface. We use PDDL Stream to do integrated task and motion planning. PDDL Stream is extended with the Custom Constrained Motion Planner to ensure that chemical reagents are not spilled during manipulation, the importance of which is shown in this video. We realize accurate closed loop pouring skills by convoluting a PD controller with a shaping function that is inspired by human behavior for pouring. We use velocity control, and the variety of pouring skills can be seen in this video. Here we show several different pouring skills. On the left, the robot pours with a standard beaker. It can also pour higher viscosity liquids such as oil with similar precision. In the center, we show that the robot can pour fine powders and solids, such as salt. Lastly, the robot can also operate squeeze bottles, which is great for higher precision tasks. Here we show the recrystallization experiment, an experiment fundamental for molecule synthesis. First, it preheats the water on top of the hot plate. Then it grabs the solute and pours it on top of the dish. It then grabs the hot water and pours it on top of the solute to dissolve it. The device stirs and heats the solution, and more water is poured until everything is fully dissolved. Once the solute is fully dissolved, the solution is allowed to slowly cool, and we obtain crystals after a few hours. Thank you for listening.